Monte. If I'm carrying the tiger, I don't want to see. You see, that's huge amount of energy to the right? I just turn it. Yeah. So, a lot of this non movement, you know, if you're with an opponent, you don't want to give them signal. I want to do it. He may not even know you, you are going forward or going backward because you're very quiet. You know, there's no up the signal. That's a part of the thing. No expanded movement. The part of that reason. I recall you saying something or writing something about the strongest direction of the legs is upward. You talked about sprinters. Right. Right. Yeah. Getting down in the crowd because. Yeah, as a pushing force. Yeah, the match is going to go up. Yeah. Anyway. Right. It seems that tucking and trying to maintain the level without going up. Comes to the top. Yeah. Keeps us down. And also the timing of your knee angles. That's I think what we try to see. Well, I mean the this change of knee weight bands. from right. one leg to the other is so smooth you can hardly detect it. Uh, I mean this leg does not move until this leg brings me forward. Yeah. And it's just a shifting of weight. That's, I, I got the same experience that Jerry's complaining about. Mm -hmm. It becomes less a matter of feeling any strain in the legs, and more just a very relaxed feeling. No, yes. no extreme expansion, no. Right. I, I have a people told me that too. In some the other times they do, they keep on pushing. They say, oh, the leg gets very tired. Right. How would this? How would this? I mean, almost. I used to experience that though, pushing with the leg, the leg would be very tired. Get very tired. The, the, actually, the, the, again, there's a lot of subtle reasons. When I'm going forward like this, I'm pulling with the front feet and pulling with this. Before you might get to the end point, my leg is really free now. I'm, the leg doesn't have any responsibility to do anything. Right? Because it's here and here, you're pulling me forward. If you're pushing, you have to push to here, your leg is still have a responsibility. You're pushing yourself. Now, again, come to the to the push hand, the cancel the movement. If somebody pull me, because this leg has no responsibility, I can very quickly forward and come to that hand. The faster you can take another step before he, he is prepared, you'll come to that act with much more effective. But if your leg is pushing, now when you pull, I cannot lift it, but I'm still pushing with the leg. You are one fraction of a certain leg to, to, to come to it. Otherwise, when you push, when you pull, my this leg is free. Step and once you step forward, he will be in trouble because you are again on the side. So we are fighting fraction of a certain fast trip with these kind of moments. And you only need that fraction faster, you get a good one. Or you know. So release this leg from the responsibility of pushing this leg to move. Well, I always used to wonder why I asked you why. But the more advanced students, and they always pick that me as the direction that's how you get used. Yeah. Why, if I was trying to retreat, uh -huh. if somebody was following me, uh -huh. who would just simply touch my foot and I'd fall down the car. And I thought about this after this long, and what I was doing that, I was pushing. Ah, right. Right. They didn't have to do much. You went to you, right. But just... You know, the moment they're going back, we're pushing. Yeah. 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 You know, 